Hello YouTube, welcome to my channel. Today I want to talk about different types of fishes according to their dwelling in the aquarium. See, it is very important to fill up your tank in a balanced way so that it looks more attractive. Moreover, it also reduces the stress on fishes as sometimes fishes have to battle for their territories. So basically there are three types of fishes according to the dwelling in the aquarium which includes top dwellers, middle dwellers, and bottom dwellers. First, we talk about the top dweller fishes. Well, top dweller fishes add movement and color at the top level of the aquarium, which is often has very little decoration. Many fishes that prefer the top level are surface feeders in nature, and they are upturned mouths designed for the top feeding. It's also important to keep in mind that some of these top level dwellers are very strong jumper species of fishes so take care to keep the tank well covered and close the lid promptly after feeding or performing maintenance popular top dwelling fishes include common hatchet fish half beak pearl daniel Rosy barb, upside down catfish, zebra daniel, bosimani rainbow, blue garami, Congo tetra, draft garami, guppy, kissing garami. Neo, neon rainbow fish, pearl gourami, pencil fish, and sword tail. Now let's talk about the middle level fishes. The middle level is the focal point of the aquarium and it should be populated with plenty of active fishes. Fishes generally which school together are more active fishes. So schooling fishes include most of the time like tetra species as well as some of the barbs. They are excellent fishes to keep in the middle level of the community aquarium. So popular mid-level fishes includes Black Widow Tetra, Emperor Tetra, Glassfish, Goldfish, Head and Tail Light Tetra, Rummy Nose Tetra, Silver Dollar, Silver Tip Tetra, Tiger Barb, and many other fishes. So now let's talk about bottom dweller fishes. Bottom dwelling fishes tend interest to the lower level of the aquarium. Most of the time, they turn over the substrate they like to dig some holes and you will note that most of them have mouth that is pointed downward which makes it easy for them to scout for some scavenging of food remember that the top and mid dweller fishes will get the food faster including the sinking foods which feeding will ensure that those living in the lower portion of the tank will receive enough food some of the bottom dwellers are nocturnal and they should be fed after turning off the light. Uh, at night. Albino quarry. Like different species of quarry, banded quarry and Pictus catfish, 
Goalie load, under curry, and weather load. It can also be included like bickers, different species. Well, in the end, we can say that uh, it's always good to research about the fish before you add to your aquarium. And it's always good to keep a balance in the aquarium so that there is less fighting in the aquarium and less stress on the fishes. Although swimming levels are a factor, but other important factors for you to keep your aquarium healthy includes water parameters such as pH, temperature and water hardness. They are also very important before you add a fish to your community tank. If you like my video, please like and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching.